In the beginning of this manwa we see some people on the mountain of the holy land of spirit to know their future we hear a man voice say will I get rich sir we hear another person saying there's no hurry one at a time. We see an old man telling me a man named Mr. Sue I have 18 concubines and over 30 children who should I pass my legacy to Mr. Sue say forget about it none of those children are your. Another man say Mr. Sue I've been pretty close to the girl I like for half a year will we finally become a couple Mr. Sue say the girl you like will go to the grove behind Green Tea Peak tonight you should go and take a look. We the man named Mr. Sue tells us that my fortune telling is never off the mark a person ask him why can't I get a girlfriend am I unlucky in love. Mr. Sue say listen you'll meet that destined person three years later I suggest you master sword fighting first. In the next scene we see Sue flying on the sword and open the system panel. We see the information about him name Sue Lee gender male phase the middle level of furnace fate points are 250 and he can break through when the fate points reach 1000 and techniques Yuchang technique to the first layer he has 380 fate points and when his fate points reach 5000 he can break through in the Yuchang technique we see a list of quests to obtain fate points tell Mr. Lu the truth about his numerous descendants despite his being infertile and gain one fate point help Mr. Lu and see the true colors of the girl he likes obtain 0.5 fate points. A system notification appears telling him that up until 1215 pm you have obtained 25. Fate points Su Li seeing this he say only 25 points looks like fortune telling isn't suitable for me anymore. He tells us about his past life his name is Su Li in his previous life I died from extreme happiness due to scoring too well in my college entrance examination and then I came to this world. He tells us that when he came to this world he became a 7 years old war orphan Su Li after that he was taken back to Yuchang Peak by that unreliable master of mine and I became her disciple. In less than 2 years my master ran away then I was finally granted a special power but the thing is. We see the system interface telling us that the host has agreed to stay single for 1000 years while being bound to the system Su Li becomes greatly shocked seeing hold up what's this about staying single for 1000 years when did I agree to the. Su Li say unbelievably I can only advance my cultivation phase with fate points we see has been depressed badly the system panel tell him that he can only level up by obtaining fate points. Su Li shouts and say I might not be a genius but I broke through three phases in two years I can't even cultivate properly now. He say the even more outrageous thing was he points at a man behind him and tells the system alright let's leave cultivation aside for now aren't you a script system show me a script. A system notification appears telling him that the host needs to fulfill conditions to read script before you do you can only see the color of other scripts but not their contents. Another notification appears and tells Su Li that please hold him by his chin and say you've caught my attention you little vixen to start reading his script Su Li say are you serious system who the heck would say that. In the next scene we see Su Li reach the Yuchang peak he tells us that did you think that was all I was saving the best for last we see a beautiful girl waiting for him. He tells us that this is the most precious gift master left for me my junior sister Chu Qianyun we've been relying on each other since my master left us when Qianyun sees him she say you're back Li he tells us that he accidentally fulfilled the system's condition and I read Qianyun's golden script he tells us that the system only required me to touch her hand to read her script it was a piece of cake. He tells that Kianyan's script was surprisingly simple the front of the script was completely empty there was only one line on the last page we see the last page of the script of Kianyan's that 1000 years later Kianyan's kills her senior brother Su Li holding his head she attains enlightenment and ascends to immortality. Kianyan's tells Li that the disciple ceremony held every 10 years has been started we should get going Su Li say sure he thinks to himself my dear god what sin did I commit to make Qian Yun want to kill me. In the next scene we see Su Li and Qian Yun walking towards the ceremony and we hear some people's talking a man say hey young man you look like you have potential you're a martial arts genius who comes by once in 100 years why don't you come with me another person voice say do you like sword fighting the sword skills of purple chi peak are the best in spirit state.
Would you like to learn from me another person say hello young lady I'm from Orange Peak do you hate men? Su Lee say the disciple ceremony this year seems pretty lively I hope we can help master recruit a good disciple hearing this say yeah. He hears some people saying she's here the saintess is here she never shows up at the disciple ceremony could she be here to take in a disciple Su Lee look back. The people around him say the saintess is too beautiful one of them say I have no more regrets in life after seeing her Su Li tells us that Jiang Mingji is the saintess of holy land of spirit she's one of the two most talented disciples in holy land her status is only inferior to the elders of holy land she holds the top spot among disciples. We see a beautiful lady coming there. Su Li say just like the rumors say the saintess beauty is otherworldly it's like first love. In the next moment he becomes shocked seeing the color of the script of Jiang Mingji and thinks why is there a black fog around the saintess this is the first time seeing this. The system panel suddenly appears in front of him. A quest appears telling Su Li to save the saintess of holy land of spirit Jiang Mingzi's life quest time limit 1 day completion reward 500, fate points failure penalty death of host Su Li face turns pale. Kianyans ask Su Li are you alright Li Su Li tells her that yes I'm alright someone was busy looking around and accidentally stepped on my foot I'm alright. Su Li looks at the system panel and thinks to himself that this is the first time the system has given a quest so there's this function guess I found the way to earn fate points he say that if he wants to save the saintess life I need to read her script and find out what danger will befall her. He asks the system what do I need to do to read Jiang Mingji's script the system tells him that he needs to do something that is not written on the system panel with her Su Li becomes greatly shocked and say are you crazy the saintess and her followers will blow me to smithereens the system say if you don't do it you'll die anyway and turn to dust. He starts to run towards the saintess and say I'll remember this you system goodbye to this horrible life goodbye Chan Yun behind him Chan Yun asks Su Li where are you going Li? We see that he comes near to the saintess. And bumps into her big thing which you can see. Chiang Mingji face turns red. In the next moment we see that Su Li flying away from the slap of Chiang Mingji. The two guards of the saintess hold him how dare you molest the saintess you have a dead wish Su Li tells them to wait and say it's not what you think listen to me saintess you're in a great danger. The people around say bad thing about him one of them say you're lusting for someone out of your league I think you're the one who is dangerous another person say I'd love to pounce on the saintess to another person say the last guy who disrespected the saintess had his cultivation removed completely I wonder how they'll deal with him. Su Li looks at the crowd around him and sees Chan Yun in the crowd saying his name. He thinks to himself that he can't let Chan Yun think he is a pervert he asks the system to open the shop and say oh I forgot to mention that this trashy system has one good aspect this is the end of my recap if you want the second part comment below part 2 and don't forget to like and subscribe see you in the next video.